Hey guys! Welcome back to the Alt Phone channel. Have you experienced a problem where your iPhone screen turns suddenly blank and won't respond? This is what we call iPhone black screen of death, where the phone screen goes black and stuck on that only, regardless of how many times you try to turn it on. It does not necessarily mean to replace the iPhone or get it repaired professionally, as long as it is not hardware related issue. Many times, some minor firmware issue or a crashed app can trigger the problem. In such cases, there are a few things you can try, and resolve the issue of iPhone stuck on blank screen while sitting at home. Or even if it is some deep iOS system problem, you can still fix it yourself with the help of this video. So, don't panic. At least not yet. Now, let's begin with our first solution. Method 1, Perform the Force Restart. You need to follow these steps to force restart your iPhone. Press and release the volume up button quickly. Press and release the volume down button quickly. Finally, press and hold the power button until Apple logo appears. Force restart basically means to forcibly shut down and reboot an unresponsive device. Most of the time, stuck iPhone screen issues are triggered by a simple reason, and can easily be fixed. Minor software errors like random firmware crashes are often remedied by a force restart. Method 2, charge your device and do the force restart. It is often neglected, but a total battery drain could also be the main reason why your phone is stuck on a black screen. With that said, try plugging your iPhone into its original charger and then, leave it to charge for at least 30 minutes. If you don't see the charging indication after plugging your iPhone into charger, do a force restart, while your phone is connected to the charger. This simple method can render a positive outcome as long as hardware damage is not present. Method 3, Restore Your iPhone Via iTunes This is one of the known methods, which many have tried when other methods fail to work. The downside is that, the data in your device will get lost after restore. Launch updated version of iTunes over your PC, and connect it to your iPhone via USB cable. Now you need to put your device in recovery mode first. To put your iPhone into recovery mode, press and release the volume up button quickly. And then the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the power button until a pop-up appears on your computer screen. Click Restore to perform factory reset followed by Restore and Update option. Unfortunately, iTunes couldn't restore your iPhone due to some unknown errors. Don't get disheartened and let's move to our next solution. Method 4, Use iOS System Repair. In most cases, the iPhone gets stuck on black screen by software damage. You can easily get it fixed by repairing iOS back to normal, with the help of, Alt Phone iOS System Repair. For this, visit Alt Phone official page, and get into recovery and repair, and select iOS system repair. Alt Phone iOS system repair is the best iOS repair software, that offers you an efficient way to resolve iOS issues including iPhone black screen. What's more, you don't have to worry about losing any of your data. So, without a wait download this free iOS repair tool from the website, and install it over your PC. and launch Alt Phone iOS System Repair Tool. Now connect your stuck iPhone to computer via original USB cable, and put your device into recovery mode. Quickly press and release the volume up button, and then the volume down button. Press and hold the power button until you see the recovery mode screen. Afterwards, Select Start button and ensure to tap on Standard Repair option to fix your iPhone without any data loss. Next, hit on Download button and wait for the software to retrieve the most suitable firmware for your iDevice.
Once done, hit Start Standard Repair and wait for the process to complete. Upon completion your device will be back to life again, and that too without any data loss. Even your iPhone has also been updated to the latest iOS system. Everything with just few simple steps. That's all. So, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Like, share and leave the comment for more such effective solutions, to any iOS issues. Thank you for watching.